Hi teachers, this is Ms. Rios again, and I wanted to make another quick video of this website called Teacher Made. And I learned about this about a month ago on uh, TikTok. And I like this, and I think this would help you in your classroom because you can convert all of your paper assignments, handouts, exit tickets, everything that's paper into digital activities and deliver them online. And it has auto grading, which is awesome it grades it for you and it's better than google slides and forms why because google slides you have to do a lot of work right to make it into an editable pdf and at the text boxes and teacher made just makes it super easy and it's better than forms because with forums the students have to finish the assignment right then and there and with teacher made they can save and come back to it so once you are on teachermade.com, you're going to click on sign up now and you're going to select sign up with uh, Google. So since I already have an account, as soon as I clicked on that, it went ahead and opened up to my account. So let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to create a worksheet. So from this main page, you're going to click on create worksheet and you're going to give it a title. So I'm going to go ahead and put sample two. I, tried recording this video earlier and I kind of messed up so I wanted to re-record it and then here you're going to drag and drop a uh, background so it can be a pdf it could be a picture it could be a document uh, file so for now I'm going to go ahead and just select this one that I have here from Scholastic and once you see the preview pop out See, you have choose one or more pages below, or you can pick another file, or you can cancel, but I'm gonna go ahead and create the worksheet using this one. So I'm gonna click on create worksheet, and then here are the different types of questions that you can insert. Short answer, drop down, open answer, matching, true and false, multiple choice, check boxes, hotspot, math. You can even add text on top of your PDF, you can add images, or you can erase. So let's say I don't want the kids to see this section right here. I'm going to click on that eraser and then that goes ahead and erases that section. So this assignment has multiple choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this multiple choice question and I'm going to select four choices. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my page and then I'm going to drag this so the kids can easily select a b c or d so i'm going to make this a little longer and there you go and so how do you select the correct answer you would just click on it let's say that a is the correct answer so let me do that again for the multiple choice i'm going to click on this one i'm going to select four answers and then i'm going to i all i did was click on the pdf and that's it those are the answer choices and then you would just select which one is the correct answer so let's say it was true and false so these are the um the answer choices that you have for true and false. So let's say I just want the T and the F and let's pretend that this is a true and false question and I am just going to drag it over to where I have the true and false and I'm gonna select my answer. So then you're able to insert all of these different types of questions. And then if I go down to the bottom, we have the uh, short answer, simple as clicking on the short answer one and making a text box and there you go. So now that I have that ready now, so let's say you are done with your assignment. How is it that you assign it to the kids? So I'm just going to click on this, this X and it's going to take me to the worksheet detail. Now you can see that this is the one that I just created sample two, and I'm gonna create an assignment from here. So now I'm gonna click on this blue create button and you are going to have the students sign in with using their Google account. You're not gonna to have to make a new uh, account for them or for them to learn a new password, anything like that. And then you have some choices here. Do you wanna show their score um, and how should the score be displayed? Normally we do percentages, right? And then you're gonna click on create assignment. So that's it, your assignment is ready. And you can share this directly to Google Classroom or you can copy this link. So if you are using the HyperDoc, then you can just copy this link and post it within your HyperDoc. So let me show you how it looks for the students. When they click on this link, it's going to show them this screen and it's going to say, you wanna begin sample two assignment or whatever title it is that you gave it. And I'm gonna begin as um, C. Rios at BISD. So then they can easily select the answer that they want like that. Let's say, I think this is true. 
and then I can start typing in my responses for the uh, short answer response. So the reason that I like this is again, because the kids can save for later. So I am not done. I do not want to lose my work. I can click on save for later. And then what happens here is that they can always go back to your hyperdoc or to the link that you posted on Google Classroom. They click on it and then they just keep on going. They just continue their work. So let's say that I clicked on this link again and now I am done. All I have to do is click I am done. And if they did miss something, they, they left something unanswered, it's going to tell them this worksheet has not been completed. Are you sure you want to submit? And let's pretend that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And that is done. They have submitted their work to you. So then on the teacher side of it, this is how you are going to see. You're going to see your student's name, their um, Google, their email address, and then whatever their score is. So another neat thing is that you can um, download, uh, you can still edit the assignment or you can export the scores into like a Excel sheet. Or let's say that Cindy did really bad on this assignment you can reopen or reset the assignment. So you already know that I got a zero. You can reset the assignment for me and this could be like my retest or you know, you're just giving me another opportunity to pick up my grade. So I'm gonna click on reset and you're gonna choose which options you want to do. You wanna just reopen it because maybe I turned it in without actually completing it or do you wanna clear my answers and have me start all over again? Okay, so this is just a quick overview on Teacher Made. I hope you guys like it. Again, if you want uh, further training or you want to set up a session, we can definitely do that. Or if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, have a great day.